Hey guys, welcome to another book review. This is going to be a review of... I haven't got the book. Ah, there it is. <laughs> right, yeah, this is going to be a review of Ben Aronovich's Rivers of London. This is the first book in the Peter Grant series, and I loved this book. I can't say enough good things about it. I didn't think I was going to love it anywhere near as much. The main reason being that it has a police... Um, procedural kind of element to it and usually I, I stray from things where it's like an investigator finds something paranormal kind of thing and um, a lot of the quotes around say it's a grown up Harry Potter um, which I didn't really get that kind of feel from it but I lost myself in this book completely um, basically spoiler free part of the review a constable Peter Grant on his last few days from being on beat and choosing where he's going to go in the police force, he is sent to keep a perimeter of a murder scene. During the night while he's there keeping the public away, he meets a ghost. And that's really all I'm going to say. If you like your fantasy, I would recommend checking it out. There are layers and layers upon this. There is such a rich mythology in it. There are creatures, but not ones you've come across before. I think it's wholly original. Um, it's a modern day London, which is a thing you don't see much in fantasy. Um, so, like, they mention buildings that are existing right in there. The guy obviously knows London in and out. The villain in it is awesome. The way that he does things and is and, and things happen. Um, yeah, there's not much I can really say without giving away spoilers. So, if it sounds good, I mean, I'll read you the blurb on the back. Because I can't really give you much... Um, so I'll do what they get. It says, My name is Pierre Grant, and until January, I was a probationary constable in that mighty army for justice, known to all right-thinking people as the Metropolitan Police Force, and to everyone else as the filth. Yeah, so you can get the kind of sense of humour from it. I wholly recommend this. There is five books in the series now. Uh, Rivers of London, and then I think the next one's called Moon Over so Soho. So yeah, Ben Aronovich. Aronovich? Aronovich, yes. Um, why do authors have such long names? Shame on you. Um, so yeah, check this book out, guys. Um, that's the end of the spoiler-free bit. I'm not going to tell you much more in the spoiler bit, because again, it's a book I want people to check out and to really, really lose themselves in. But I will say, there is a fucking inventive killer. Really creepy and really cool. There is... Gods of the Rivers, the Rivers of London, which they're done really well. There's the old lady and the old man of the Thames, and they're awesome. And there's just, the characters are brilliant in it. I'm going to spoil anything for people. Please check this book out if you have any... I got quite a Terry Pratchett vibe from it, but not as not as crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's Rivers of London by Ben Aronovich. Cheers for watching, guys. And um, please, if you check this book out or you've read it, let me know what you thought, because it's a book I'd love to talk to people about. Cheers, guys. Bye. Metro uh, metrop <laughs> the metropolitan. metropolitan. January, I was a probationary constable in that mighty army for just... Cat! That's a nice impression of a Japanese man. An investigator finds something paranormal kind of...